It's been a while since I've played Ark modded PvP, but today I think there's no better of one to play Ark Omega yet again. In today's video, I played over the course of the day, did some building up, figured out the mod yet again, and just got into the depths of this mod and found some of the, the higher tier stuff. I, I mean, I don't want to spoil it. You guys will see. Anyways, let's get into the video and I hope you enjoy. But first, are you guys looking for a really fun server to play this weekend that isn't low rates, you can spend time on, and also live in a life outside of Ark? Well, Alchemist Ark has you covered, today's sponsor. They're an 100x server with four-man tribes, custom caves, custom drops, and alpha rewards, and they're wiping this weekend. So if you're interested, check out their Discord link below, and thank you, Alchemist, for the sponsor today. So, it's been a while since we've been on Ark Omega. Ark's still in a stale state. Views are down, everything's down. But to be honest, I'm still finding fun in modded Ark. So, we're going to come back and do some Ark Omega stuff for today. And if I'm honest, it's been so long since I've played this mod, I've completely forgot what to do and what sort of stuff to look for. Like, I don't even remember if I can kill this thing or not. I don't know what's OP, what's not. But anyways, we're going to give this as much as a go as we can. And, uh... Yeah, welcome to Ark Omega, I guess, everyone again. So, to start myself off with this mod pack, I just came accustomed to starting with these things. So, in Ark Omega, it gives you a newbie protection at the start of the server, which boosts like XP and a few other things. And on top of that, you also start with a pickaxe that can turn into a hatchet and some weird little sickle thing. So, for the beginning of my life, I went around and farmed up any resource nodes I could. That being metal or trees, stone for flint, and uh, yeah, I also went around picking a bunch of bushes up as well with this sickle to get a bunch of berries, magical essence, and then I would head over to Blue Obelisk where I would hit these little boxes like I do in most of my series that start on rag. If you didn't know, it can give you loads of arrows, crossbows, pikes, swords, and just tools in general. And once I'd done that, I went to the obelisk and came across my first player left tame which I wanted to kill for its saddle, then I realized this server gives you a starter kit. So I put it all on, got my own Tyranodon together, and then I turned off PvE and went straight into PvP as uh, we wanted to raid people, of course. Why else would we be here? Well. I thought someone was raiding them, but apparently not. That's definitely not raidable for me at the moment. Everything that goes near those turrets is absolutely being shredded. I think that's their tech gen there, though, isn't it? And they only have one, and it's in the middle. Unsure how raiding goes on Ark Omega, but if we get to a point where we can raid that, we definitely will. And base. In PvE. It is... He hasn't built anything I can open no but the also have a pretty decent base down okay well we at least know of a raid for the future I'll come back and check it in a few hours and see if PB is turned off um excuse me Excuse me? I'm, I'm being bombed. But, uh, I thought it was just a rainbow. What is going on? Ow, ow. I want to check if there's gear. Please, leave me alone. Ow. Ooh. After literally fighting a black hole, I went around and farmed a bunch of beaver dams as I wanted to grab myself some paste, electronics, and see if they'd put anything else custom inside it. 
And then I'll go over to Charcoal Trees and use the pickaxe version and the hatchet because I'd forget to change it sometimes to grab as much charcoal as I possibly could to make sure I could craft up as much bullets as I would need later on when I would build my base. And then I settled on my base spot, but first I had a few more things to do. Ooh. Oh, primitive medallions. I forget what these do in this mod. Medallions are good though, if I remember. I'm just, I don't know what it does. Obsidian set? Okay. I think we should be able to raid. Why is it? Okay, it was just constantly. Re okay, apparently I can't equip. Can I? My game that bug. Hello? No? Okay. Well, so, this server actually has something that I didn't think would be enabled. But if I go over to potions, let's look at the immortality potion. If you guys remember the last time we played this server, or I can't remember any Ark Omega server, you can use this potion to basically just run into any base and drop the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some, uh, well, foundations, get myself some C4 made, get myself some rockets made, and we're going to go raid this base. And we're going to get rich super quickly on this server, and it shouldn't take long. But first, I've got to do the early parts of just grinding this all together. So, uh, yeah, let me, uh, get a look. let's get a little montage going, shall we? But sadly, I would make a big discovery, as since the last time I've played on this server, they have actually disabled these potions and set the max player, like, level on them needed as level 1000. So, even though I had all the resources and everything starting out ready for a kit, I couldn't exactly raid the base that way. But I remembered all of the turrets that were there were tech turrets, so all I would need to do now is craft a rocket launcher and just use that and try and take down as much as I can. I don't think he has any heavies. I don't think he does. I think I can raid this if he doesn't have ORP. Which would be good. The immortality potion is level 1000, so it's been taken off the server. But it doesn't mean we can't do it another way. But none of them are taking damage. Are they RP? The base really RP? What? I'm so confused. It's not telling me it is. Ah, no damage numbers. I see now. And I'm guessing the base is no longer 6x, apparently. Okay, this is going to take a lot longer than I thought. Maybe I did drop that foundation, I didn't realize. Oh, I'm stupid. There's nothing in this base. They put... There's nothing in it. 1k shards in each. I've generally sat here rocketing this this whole time. There's nothing here. There's, I need to get a bit closer. Just that I might just run in. Run in and just absolutely just, I don't know, have a look because this is weird, man. Yeah, there's literally nothing in the base. Okay. I guess we can move on then. I've got nothing, no point in wasting any more time here. Let's go, go do some stuff. With that very disappointing raid and news out of the way, I went and hit this drop to get myself a really good Tyrannodon saddle, and whilst trying to switch it over, my Tyrannodon got wiped out by this little, uh, little snake. So anyway, I would head to Triple Waterfall, as that is where I wanted to build my base. Okay, I'm opting for building in Triple Waterfall. I really... I don't know. I don't feel like we're going to get raided. The server's quite dead at the moment. But there is some raids to do. And I'm going to need quite a bit of space. So I figured, why not? Let's just, let's just do it. And I guess I'm going to have to roll on the, uh, the building montage as usual. These things take forever.
With all my foundations now placed out, I'd also craft out my crafting area, which was literally just a couple tech reps for now, and the, all the modded workbenches below it. I'd also go around and scatter turrets everywhere, but to be honest, because it's 3am, I'm not going to do a very fast edit for it. Uh, just to let you know, I probably put down, what, two, three hundred turrets, and most of the tech turrets were capped, and the AP turrets, which are very much needed on this server, weren't capped, they didn't have much to ammo. Anyway, I got onto crafting as much ammo as I could in all of the weapons workbenches to make sure I wouldn't run out. And then it was time to go look for a raid. But first, okay, we'll have this as the base for now. It's already like nearly 3 a.m. in the morning, so not too fussed to be honest. And with how many turrets other bases have, this is like definitely enough. My only downside is not being able to do an auto crafter on the server, like a proper one that crafts uh, modded bullets. Because they actually, uh, they craft artifacts and i'm unsure if the i'm not sure if they're in drops on this server i have to go see but yeah we're just doing ammo farming at the moment and then i'm gonna go farm up some ethereal souls and uh yeah we're gonna get a move on see if we can get some good stuff going This looks good. The PVE. Not even PVE protection. Oh my god, this actually could be This could be a good raid. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna place down a teleporter and we're gonna come back. I hope to god this guy isn't online as things are about to get messy as long as I can blow in obviously I don't see anyone I don't see anyone here any loot oh some stuff what What? Where did I? Where did those bags just go? Oh my god, that's a lot of kibble though. God damn. Thank you. Why is it? I'm confused. I'm very confused. Some of the bags are just disappearing straight up. Take all his resources. Here. Oh my god. Um, Ascendant Ethereal Spear. Hello. God damn. Anything in here? Alright, we're gonna have to drop these. I don't want to. We got to. I need to get out of here before he returns. If, if he's on. Hello? Anything? Where is that Ethereal Spear? Here he is. I'm terrified. Nothing in the rep either. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm block I'm black boxed. Oh my god. Did not expect to get that. Oh, and I have loads of cloth gear as well. Uh, anything primitive? Oh, one of these charms. Look at that. Oh my god, there's still so much stuff in here. Exomech, I definitely don't need that. I'll take the GP though. Does he have any artifacts? No, but he has loads of souls. Uh, you can take all of these for sure. I need to get out of here before he returns. Anything else? Oh my god, he has loads of essence. Yep. Oh my god, he has loads of tames in here. Here's the torches as well. Clubs, really good start, bro. I couldn't have got a better raid. I literally couldn't have got a better raid. With loads of loot now secured, I would head back to base as there was a couple other players on the server and I didn't know if this guy was one of them. So I went back and depoted all of the important loot I could, grabbed some more rockets, and then I would return with hopes of him not being there. I'm right, making a return in. Yeah. 
No, he's not here. I don't think he's online, so I think we're good. He would have known by now if we were raiding him. Ascendant. Let's see if there's anything Ascendant left in here. Oh, nice. Any journeyman? Ooh. Decent gear. Anything Mastercraft? Yep. Uh, apprentice. Yes, also. And Ramshackle. Nice. Now, in Arc Omega, you can build different sets of gear, which gives you different stats, which is why I'm taking so long to pick through this vault and find out as much of the good loot as I can, as I would want to wear a full set of Olympian our gear to stack it on top of the Ascendant raided. Torch. We can return back to our base now, start adding more ammo, and actually get a good look for all the loot. I think I actually got some really good loot in the gear department. We got Pteranodons. Orin, just pygmy armor. Okay, put down a pygmy dino. I didn't even know those were a thing in this. What are these? Set medallions provide set items when his players gain equip the game to get soul scream gloves. Okay, so those just like are for different pieces of gear that you have, and it gives you an extra level. We got kibble for basically everything. Omega cosmic kibble. We got summoner kibble. Crazy. Rampage, Stone Skin. Maybe that will help in running one of the bases. Reaper Pheromone, more kibble. Yeah. We're actually uh we're actually stacked after one raid. That's crazy. Okay. And we got a reflective trike. I wonder if we can soak bases with that thing. That curious to, that's curious to me. We also got a bunch more gear. Oh, gravity gloves. Have I got a full set of gravity gear now? Possibly. We got ethereal spears though, which is nice. Watch the uh, scale with melee damage. Okay. To be honest, I don't really know what to do with all this loot. I've kind of just been uh, it's all been dumped on me now. A lot of this stuff is really good. Like we've got some good Olympian gear that I could partner up with some stuff. But there's also a really good ascendant set of flag here as well, which I could also wear. Choices. What is that? Wait. Gifted set. 200 fortune. Okay, interesting. Bloodlust as well. Beta hide. Nice. Now, I also managed to get myself the Psycho Scorpion, which I didn't exactly know it did, to be honest. I'm still not aware of what half the stuff does on Arc Omega, as I've only really played on PvP. But anyways, we would level this thing into mostly health, and I would put loads of points into melee damage, as with how much it was gaining, I was sure that it could literally one-tap anything on the server with this much. Probably not the higher tier stuff, but, uh, you know, it was handy having one and not having to tame it, so uh, thank you to the person I raid, if you if you watch this. Oh, we actually got a really good Pteranodon. Beta Reflective Pteranodon. Look at his, like, melee damage, health... And we've got 190 levels put into this thing. I'm going to speed run it. Loads into HP and then loads into melee. And we're going to go around and see what we can absolutely destroy with this thing. Wait, my character's doing voodoo stuff because I've maxed out one of my, uh, my builds. I wonder if it's... Uh... Okay, now uh, now we've got need 200 in each AP turret. That's fine for now. They're there mainly to kill the players, and tech turrets is there to kill the tames. I need photon turrets as well, but I'll do, I'll do those a bit later. Mainly focus on this for now. We've got a full set of gear going. I need to grab that Pteranodon because I forgot it. I want to see how much damage this torch does and what it can actually break. But um, things are going good, man. That raid? Just, I don't know, chef's kiss. Yummy. With this OP new Pteranodon, I would go out and put it to the test, and it passed, doing 150k damage on a C-spin, and to top it all off, one-shotting nearly anything I came across. This thing really was a mini destroyer. I don't even remember crafting all those tactical rifles. The game just crashed and I come back to check the ammo situation, and it's just, it's just full of assault rifles. I don't even understand. I do want to check one thing though, how much damage does this do? I'm glowing. But can I not damage my own tame? Apparently not with this stuff. I need to go test this on because I'm wearing four pieces of the Hades gear. Which granted isn't a full set, but I probably could wear the full Olympian set with that. But yeah, now I'm in a full set. 
So, I think I'm in the full set. Oh, no, I'm not because the charm. This gives me the gloves. Wait, what? what's not Olympian? Hello? Eh? Ah, maybe the charm. Maybe? Oh, my chest piece. Never mind. Change the chest piece. Oh, even better. We have some ascendant blueprints for them. I, d I didn't even know. That makes my gear so much better now. I'm unsure what the Olympian buff is. I don't know if this is a new tier that was added or not. Wait, I'm still on four? Huh? What? Why is it? Olympian? 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 Just, I guess it doesn't want to work. Never mind. Okay, no Olympian. 